Today we're reviewing the movie Lies Mentel, an Uche Jumbo production, starring Uche herself, Desmond Elliott, uh, Mofet Duncan, and a few other Nollywood um, stars. Lies Mentel is a comedy slash drama flick which touches on infidelity among three couples. Since when is your mechanic a woman? What are you talking about? Mr. Big Stuff. Emeka, you know what I'm talking about. No, I don't know what you're talking about. So unless you're giving me that phone so I can go to work or tell me something important. Can you explain to me how a female mechanic calls your phone who cannot wait to get her hands on your Mr. Big Stuff? Now to analyze the movie, I'll do it in my usual style, talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. The good side is, it's interesting, it's entertaining, it's hilarious. It's a comedy piece, and it does justice to that. So that's fantastic, because I, the target of the movie is to entertain you and make you laugh, and surely you would laugh. It doesn't do much for you in terms of, okay, how does this move the dialogue of infidelity forward in our society? But it just gives you a few laughs, and you can't force that. Hello? Hello, baby. Hey, how you doing? Man, baby, the Lord is great. Can you hear people playing in the background? The power of the Holy Ghost is mighty here. Desmond Elliott gave an award-winning performance. It's, it's funny to see him switch characters from his usual, very clean English style to a somewhat very pigeon, typical Igbo kind of character, which it would just take you about. I mean, Desmond deserves an award for that because one of the good things about a good actor is he should be able to play a role and make it very believable. Desmond made that role, he owned that character, and I think that was a plus for the movie. Chief, where is your car? Huh? Hey! Chief! Hey! 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 Chief! Hey! My family. Ten million. My ten million. My ten what million. Ten million hey! My ten million was here. My ten million. Chief, I get man. Go, go, get chief, man. Chief, Don't chief, you get man. Wait. Hey, oh hey, God. hey. Chief, wait. You mean you, you left ten million naira in that car? My ten million naira. Who chief, ever does that? Chief? My car is ten million. So let's move to the bad side of the movie. One, I noticed the sound quality wasn't really great. Uh, there were the indoor scenes had quite a few echoes and on some of those scenes they try to treat it and you notice the sound being a bit more muffled. I don't feel that the issue of infidelity was treated well in this movie. The ending could have been better. It leaves everything open. As a society, how do we respond to infidelity in marriages? It's a typical story that, you know, is telling regular things that happen but I think the ending needed to be a bit more powerful so that you finish watching the movie and you have a total you know, joy of, yes, this movie was fantastic, beginning, middle, and end. The beginning was fine, the middle was okay, but I think the ending was quite weak. Mm -hmm. Femi, wake up, Joe! Mm -hmm. Femi, is this the night vigil, the church services that you lied to me you were attending every other day? Mm -hmm. To say it all, the movie does what it's meant to do. It's meant to entertain you as well as expose some of the lies mental, which you would agree with me that it's very true. And I think for that, it makes the movie, it, it, the kind of movie you want to sit down on a weekend with your family or with your husband, boyfriend and watch and just laugh yourselves out. It's, it's an interesting movie. If I were to rate this movie, I'd give it a strong 55%. I think I'll give this movie a 50%. How many girls do you remember using condom for? A lot. Yeah. What did you just say? What did you just say to me? I said a lot of men use condom. Do not use condom with women. Get in here. I don't like this. Let me finish first before you talk or you don't have conversation with yourself. 